this video is going to be about all of the errors that I've collected so far in Firebase. Maybe you might discover some new errors, but these are the ones that I found. So let's start off with error number one. No module named Firebase found. Well, it looks like you've not installed the Firebase. So you need to go into Manage Packages in Thani uh, and install Python dash Firebase. Python dash Firebase. Find package and install. Uh, now, if you're not using Thani, if you're using Idle, you have to use pip or manually install the package like a peasant. Use Thani. It's just easier, when, especially when you're starting off with Python. Okay, um, that's that. So that will work now. It'll work beautifully, except for our second error, because uh, this is the async import process pool error. <laughs> it's the async error. Hmm. This guy. This guy happens because um, ever since... Oh, back in the days in Python 3.6, uh, async became a keyword, meaning whoever wrote the Python Firebase module, uh, back in those days, you could use async whenever you wanted because it wasn't a, a Python word. So if you go back into Manage Packages and you scroll down to where it says Python Firebase, uh, you can find where it's installed, which is right there. Um, I'm going to go back and I'm looking for site packages and it's Firebase. All right. Um, now, I just need to change three things. One, async. That is the problem. I'm not allowed to use that word anymore. So it's now async underscore. Now, I'm sure you could chain it, change it to asip. Asip, you could literally change asip or async turnips or async llama, whatever you want. You just can't use async anymore. It's just not allowed. Okay, and I'm gonna change this async here. This was in that um, underscore in it. And then the last one is Firebase itself, firebase.py. There is a, an async in there as well. And you'll notice that it will change color. So it will be a different color from import. So if I run it now, uh, there we go. I can get readings again. So. That is working beautifully, okay? Oh, wait, watch out. Um, when you're fixing this one, I found that sometimes when you go into your init file, instead of this lovely little snippet of code, there's a small two-page essay. Um, and it, yours looks nothing like this. And there's no async mentioned anywhere. Um, what you gotta do, uh, what well, fixed that for me anyway, was just going back into Thani in manage packages, manage packages, you uninstall Firebase, Python Firebase, and you reinstall it. And then you should find that your init file looks the same as mine. I don't know, maybe it was a different version or whatever, but like that seemed to fix it for me. And then I was able to add the underscore to async. So that. Oh, this one here. Unauthorized for URL, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Unauthorized or a false HTTPB error, that thing, that licking where it's, it's because your permissions are just not set to uh, the right setting. So if you go into your database, it's these things here can't be false. They have to be true. Both of these have to be true like that. Okay. So, oh, was that a small T? I feel like it was a small T because they're the wrong color. That makes me very suspicious. So let me press uh, publish and do it again. And it's all back. The data's back. Um, so where this is, is when you go into your Firebase uh, and you click in to database, right just next to the, the data here is a tab called rules. And they have to be set up as true, both of them. Um, to read and write, that kind of makes sense. So if you set up your database on test mode, this should have happened automatically, but sometimes they just go back to false for whatever reason, so that's that one. This one here is not really a, 
a red error, but if you keep getting none, it's probably because um, in here, you're asking it to go to a place where there is no data, you know? So if you put in something there that doesn't exist in the database, really your options here are cookie meter, sensor, or just, you know, forward slash will give it all by itself. So let's just try that. So if I just look at the whole database, that is all there, or sensor is all there, and we'll return some data. If you're getting none, you're just talking about a, a place that doesn't exist. Maybe you deleted it by mistake, but it doesn't exist there anymore. So you need to, you know, pick something that's actually a node somewhere, you know? Um, or if I was trying to get to DHT here, um, I can't just go to DHT straight away without stopping at a train station before it. So I have to start here, go down, sensor, forward slash DHT, you know, forward slash. So, you know, you have to keep going forward slash every time you move to the right attempt. So I have to go sensor DHT to get to that. So sensor forward slash DHT, and that will return some data. There we go. Um, so if you're getting none, that's what that is. If you get this big horrendous error here, this uh, connection error, um, well, that might mean that your URL here is, uh, someone's put in the word silly. There we go. So that is a proper URL there, and now it will work. Where you find that URL is there on your database. Okay, so just make sure that is all there and you won't get this silly error. And finally, if you get this error and you are definitely sure this works, um, there's a good chance that you have just disconnected from the internet you know I mean also how are you watching this video on YouTube if that's the case so <laughs> but I've turned off my internet and I got this error so when I reconnect uh, it starts working again so yeah that's just it just can't reach this if that makes sense